A new development in gun ownership. Uh, now a lot of different uh, liberal groups are picking up guns. So uh, I understand the inclination to do this, but I think it's a terrible idea. So let me explain what is happening and then why I think it's a bad idea. So there's a new uh, club in Rochester, New York called Trigger Warning Queer and Trans Gun Club. And uh, this is a new one, but there are some others that have been around a little bit that I'll explain to you in a little bit as well. And uh, Jake Allen explains why they're doing this. Um, he says, it's a way to assert our strength. Often queer people are thought of as being weak, as being defenseless. And I think in many ways this pushes back against that. And I want white supremacists and neo-Nazis to know that queer people are taking steps necessary to protect themselves. Now, boy, that is that urge is super understandable. And as you see, uh, you know, the death in Charlottesville, um, and and also a synagogue was at one point surrounded by neo-Nazis uh, chanting Nazi chants, and in situ in same thing in Charlottesville, in that same protest. Uh, as you see situations like that, and then DeAndre Harris, an African American man, was beaten so severely he had to get 10 staples in his head afterwards. Um, so it's hard not to want to pick up weapons and defend yourself. And here in this case, uh, they're learning how to shoot better, and then obviously some are buying guns. But at the same time, I'm afraid that it, it plays exactly into the NRA strategy. Everybody be panicked, grab a gun, which then leads to more deaths, which then leads to more panic which then leads to higher gun sales. And I'm not sure that this is the road that we wanna go down. But again, let me give you more details here on the different groups doing it. They say that, and this is the Associated Press, membership in the Pittsburgh chapter of the Pink Pistols, that's an LGBTQ oriented gun group with chapters nationwide, bumped up after the presidential election and then after a white supremacist killed a counter protester in Charlottesville this summer. So. That's another LGBTQ group that has seen increased membership, but they're not alone. Then there's the Liberal Gun Club, a national organization has seen its paid membership roughly double since the election to about 5,500, said Lara Smith of the group's California chapter. So now we've got LGBTQ people armed, we've got liberals armed, we already had the right wing armed obviously. Now of course, let's go to black folks. The National African American Gun Association gained 500 new members within two days after Charlottesville. Association President Philip Smith said the group went from four chapters to 45 in just the past year. Okay, by the way, that is when the right wing first, like they're like, oh, LGBT people are getting guns, fine. Liberals getting guns, isn't that cute? What, black people have guns? That's the first time that they got concerned. And now I'm putting that on them, that's a little bit of speculation, but it's that speculation is based on actual history. In California, we had very lax gun laws until the Black Panthers figured out, hey, you know what? We can walk into the state house with weapons. And it was perfectly legal, and they did. And the minute that black folks picked up weapons and walked into the state house, all of a sudden, California got way tougher gun regulation. You know who the governor was at the time that passed that legislation? That well known liberal, Ronald Reagan. So, on the one hand, again, boy, you want to defend yourself, I get it. And, there, and the other guys ha, uh, have guns. The neo Nazis and the white supremacists have weapons, and they're not shy about it. I get it. Uh, and by the way, the minute black folks pick up guns, all of a sudden, we're probably going to lead to more gun control. So, that would be lovely, in my opinion. Okay? I get it. That being said, I give you the same rationale that I give the right wing. It's not a good idea. You're far more likely to get somebody in your own house killed. This whole idea of the intruders breaking up in the middle of breaking in in the middle of the night and then you're going to defend yourself almost never happens. But I'll show you the numbers of what actually does happen. Accidental shootings between 2005 and 2010, 3,800 people died just from accidents. I'm not talking about homicides where you got mad at your wife or your husband and boom, in that moment you killed them. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about suicides, which is a giant number. Just accidental shootings leading to deaths, leading to injuries in 2010 alone, 606. And then victims under the 25 years of age is 1300 or so as well. So that's a lot of people dying because there was a gun in the house. Guns don't make you safer, they make you far less safe. So as much as I understand 
the urge to want to pick up guns if you're in these groups. I don't think you're helping yourself at all. And I and when I say that to the right wing, it's not a trick. It's not like, oh, we'll get the right wing to disarm and it'll be great. No, it's because I don't want themselves shooting each them shooting themselves either. I don't want someone that's young in that household to get shot by accident either. Or sometimes it works the other way where a kid accidentally pulls a trigger and kills his parents. We've done that story endless times. I don't want it happening to the right wing. I don't want it happening to the left wing. I don't want it happening to anyone. And the more there are guns around, the more it'll happen. That is a fact. So just be careful and and the only people celebrating this whole trend overall are the, the gun manufacturers that fund the NRA in the first place. They look at a story like this and yeah, maybe they get concerned about parts of it, but overall they think mission accomplished. Higher gun sales, which will almost certainly lead to more deaths, which will lead to more panic, which will lead to more gun sales. Don't feed into that beast. If you like this video, you'll love the whole TYT network. Check it out at tytnetwork.com slash join.